okay? So I'm gonna have a glass of water, please. No, this is not a church. you want? Why don't you go back to that fucking country? You must be Sarah. Hey, I have something for you. Sorry, do you have a light I could borrow? Yeah, sure. Here you go. Oh, God! I'm no. so sorry. Uh, uh, don't worry. No, it's fine, I'll go get it. Oh, God! Where is it? It's, it's, it's right here, it's just in the middle. Got it? Yeah. Thank you. Are, are you okay? I was working as an interpreter. First day I met him, he called me into his office and said that it was a part of his job to do everything in his power to protect me. Then he showed me a picture of you and Michael. And he asked me to do the same for him too. I'm sorry. I just don't understand why. Why should we get involved with some stupid war that has nothing to do with us? It wasn't a stupid war. I'm sorry. I said it wasn't a stupid war. But that's not what people think around here. And what am I supposed to say to Michael? You will never see your dad again because he cared about other people's life more than about yours. Why should we go around the world and free other people? Maybe they want to live that way. You know, James was a loving man. A caring man. He loved you and Michael more than anything else in the world. Those were his last words. And he wanted me to tell you that. Being a soldier in a war zone in a foreign land, away from my son and my beautiful wife, is not an easy thing to do. 16th of March 2008, Northern Iraq. Today, Ashdi, my Iraqi interpreter, took me to his hometown. It's a small town called Halabja. It was a surprise visit and it opened my eyes. I didn't know that it was 20 years to the day that Saddam Hussein had gassed the town and killed 5,000 innocent people, including Ashdi's entire family. I understand that some people might not agree with this war. I know my wife doesn't agree. But when I see these people waking up in the morning and having no fear of being gassed again is something which makes me proud. I hope my wife and my son will be proud of me too. <laughs>